Let's talk about how to use the custom white balance setting for your Canon camera. Hey everyone, Camber here back with you and today we're talking about how to set up your Canon DSLR for custom white balance. And if you're new here, this channel is all about teaching you how to use your camera to make good videos, so consider subscribing. Now I've made a few different videos on white balance from how to use the white balance presets to understanding Kelvin values to give you better colors to my last video that was about using custom white balance to get the best colors in your camera. But in that video I was using my Sony camera for an example and different manufacturers have a little bit different ways of how you set up the white balance in your camera for custom. And so what I want to do in this video is show you specifically for Canon cameras how to use custom white balance. But if you do want to find out more info on why the custom white balance setting will get you the best results, then check out the last video I made here and that'll dive more in depth about those various settings. But for this video, we're just going to get right into how you set it up for your Canon camera. So the first thing you'll need to do is switch to one of the picture taking modes because the video mode doesn't give you the option to set the custom white balance in the menus. And keep in mind, I'm using an older T2i, so there may be some updates with newer cameras, but it should be pretty similar with what you're using. And then you want to set your gray card as close to your subject as possible so that it's lit in the same place and in the same way that your subject is. From there, you want to fill up your screen with as much of the gray card as possible and then focus on it. And I like to use the auto white balance when I'm taking this picture. Then I go to the menu, scroll down to custom white balance, and this allows you to go through your picture so that you can select the one that you want to base the custom white balance setting on. And if you don't already have your camera on the custom white balance setting, it will remind you to set your white balance to that custom white balance symbol. After that, you'll go into your white balance settings, switch to custom, and then you're set to go if you're only going to be taking pictures. However, for video, you'll need to switch back to the video mode, and then you'll have to go into your white balance settings and set it to custom there as well, because at least in the older Canon cameras, the white balance settings don't cross over from the picture modes to the video mode. And from there, you're all set to record using the custom white balance that you just captured with that gray card. And here's a video from where I initially set the white balance to auto, and you can see the colors look fine for the most part. But then when you switch to the custom setting that we based off that card, the colors look a little bit warmer and just a little more natural. And when we put them together, you can see the difference even more on how the auto white balance made it a lot cooler, but then the custom white balance gave you that warmer look, especially the white and the bowl look more natural. So that's a quick rundown on how to set the custom white balance on your Canon camera. Keeping in mind, again, this is an older T2i, and so I'm not sure if any of the settings are different now with maybe being able to set that custom white balance in the video mode, but the process should be pretty similar regardless of whichever model you're using. And if this did help you out, just let me know below by leaving a comment and a like. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.